Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Rizzle Kicks are set to reunite with the duo announcing this week they hope to bring some optimism to 2024. Jordan Rizzle Stevens and Harley Sylvester Alexander Sewell first shot to fame in 2011 with the release of their debut single followed by a string of high-profile festival shows that cemented their place in the UK music scene. The pair went their separate ways after the release of Slurp in 2016 but have now revealed they will be making a return in a bid to save the year. Sharing an update to Instagram on Thursday, Jordan and Harley were seen listening to one of their old hits, Down With The Trumpets, before putting a new cassette tape into a boombox. We're back, they captioned the clip. Addressing their reunion on his podcast, The Red Carpet Treatment, Jordan said, I think our music has aged very well and I think that we, this is my guess, we are reminiscent of a time in British history, 2012, which was pretty optimistic. We had the Olympics, pre-COVID, pre-Brexit, pre-Trump, people were living their lives man. Rizzle Kicks have released two albums, Stereotypical in 2011 followed by Roaring Twenties in 2013. The duo had number one song Heart Skips a Beat, also featuring Ollie Merce, along with other hits including When I Was a Youngster, Mama Do the Hump and Down with the Trumpets. Since 2016, Jordan has released music under the stage names Wildhood and Al, The Native. Earlier this year, the musician opened up Snout Surviving Self-Harm and Heartbreak in a candid new book, after finding love with Little Mix's Jade Thirlwall. The singer also shared an insight into living with ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, after previously sharing his battles with drink and drugs. Jordan said that the book, titled Avoidance, Drugs, Heartbreak and Dogs, was the hardest thing he'd ever done. It will follow the star's rise to fame and rizzle kicks, while behind the scenes he battled brutal patterns of self-harm and destructive coping mechanisms. TV right for the book have already sold to production company Watford Essex, who are best known as the maskers of the White Queen and Life on Mars.